Zamperini is not inspiring so much for the battles that he won, but for outlasting the enemy in a brutal World War II prison camp. Throughout the movie, we hear the words of his brother, first spoken when neighborhood kids picked on him because of his Italian heritage. If you can take it, you can make it. Did you catch that? If you take it, you can make it. That phrase carried Zamperini to the 1936 Summer Olympics in Berlin. Here's where they were also helpful. After his bomber crashed at sea, leaving him adrift in a life raft for 40 days, until captured by the Japanese. Well over half the movie details the tortures he endured while in custody, especially at the hands of a psychopathic sergeant. The film is rated PG-13, and for good reason. Zamperini and his body are stripped, the better to torture them. The level of nearly non-stop violence is similar to that in The Passion of the Christ. And in one scene, Zamperini is forced to hold a big beam over his head at a Christ on the cross sort of pose. There are several other hints of spirituality along the way. Zamperini goes to church as a kid, overhears his mother praying for him, and notices that his buddy sometimes prays. Zamperini eventually prays a foxhole type prayer, something like, If you get me through this, I will serve you. The movie ends with words on the screen, informing us that after several years of post traumatic stress syndrome, Zamperini eventually decided to honor his promise to God. Another caption tells us he went back to Japan to forgive his captors. I have to be honest, that was the weakest part of the movie. Just imagine. You're watching a romantic comedy. The guy and girl meet, they finally decide they like each other, then everything falls apart through some misunderstanding. Finally, the film ends with an on screen caption announcing that the couple got married and lived happily ever after. No one would end a romantic comedy that way, but that's how director Angelina Jolie ended Unbroken, with some on screen announcements. That's quite a flaw for an otherwise well-done movie. Consider this. Cutting just 10 minutes out of the torture scenes would have freed up enough time to put Louis Zamperini's spiritual decision in context. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. you hear this.com.